Hi everyone, it's Georgia here from UK Scrap Addicts. This month our theme is sewing, so I decided to get the smash book out and sew a unicorn. So what you're seeing me do here is I've actually already used a template that you can see next to it and I've drawn over the edges of the template to kind of indent the paper. So I'm just lightly sketching over the bits that are indented so I know where to cut. Um, so I cut that out and basically this is my paper piece unicorn that I'm starting. So it wasn't exactly, I wouldn't say it's that difficult, it did take a long time as it's quite fiddly cutting all the bits of paper out exactly how you want them. Um, I just used some basic white card stock that I had, it was just like some A4 card. So I used that as the body of the unicorn. Um, the template that I have was just something I found on Google Images, I just searched unicorn um, colouring in sheet I think I looked for. So as you can see there I'm just showing you how I did it so I'm just drawing over and literally denting the paper underneath. So as you can see it's relatively simple it's just trying to remember where everything goes. did make a little mistake because I actually ended up cutting the template back to front so that took me some time to sort out. As you can see here I'm thinking hmm this doesn't fit so I'm just changing it, drawing around it the other way so I can cut it out and give the unicorn some hair. I tried to use a couple of different bits of paper. Um, this one I'm using now is a 6x6 pad I believe from Maggie Holmes. I also use some mint polka dot which is out of a 12x12 pad from Hobbycraft. There's the pad that I got from Hobbycraft. Rainbow Magic it's called. I think I got that on sale for like £5 not that long ago. So I think it's probably still there if you wanted to have a look. So here I'm sticking down everything with some wet glue. It's kind of fiddly trying to get everything in the right place. I think the only tip I can really give is that you need to try and cut the pieces a little bit bigger than what you want them. Because then it's easier to layer them up and stick them down. So I'm cutting out some more pieces of its mane. I had to erase all of the pencil lines off because otherwise it didn't look as good. Here I am sticking an extra bit onto the back of its neck because I didn't have enough space to actually stick the mane. And it meant I could layer it up properly so you could actually see its ear. Having to cut another bit out just to make sure that it fits. didn't actually think I'd filmed this much of me piecing it together to be honest with you but I wanted you to get the full the full flow of how it works I will say it is really fun and it definitely I've definitely definitely been inspired by Lisa Fonseca all of her paper piecing I think the stuff she creates is amazing and this I thought would be a lot harder than what it actually was although it did take a lot of time, I really wouldn't say it's difficult to do. You just need to find yourself a good template if you're not that great at freehand drawing. But the smash book I'm using is the cutesy one with the purple spine to it. It's got loads of really cute pages. Um, and as you can see, I'm just giving you a close up. I've pieced together all of the unicorn, I've stuck everything on, I hole punched a little glittery star out, I gave it a glittery unicorn horn. And now I'm double siding, I'm using double sided tape on the back because what I'm going to do is stick it to another bit of white card so I can cut a white border around the edge, which will then enable me to sew around the edge of it. So I'm getting him stuck on. There we go, nice and stuck, sticking his legs down, making sure everything's stuck nicely because what I don't want to do is for it to peel back up when I'm sewing. So I've just sort of roughly cut around the edge and then I'm going to prick some holes in it with a little mat and a little pokey tool thing. So poking all the holes around the edge. Um, my intention is to then sew round it with a purple thread that I've got and it's kind of an ombre thread. So I'm poking all the way around just the edge of it and then I'm just going to do a basic back stitch around it. 
I had already started and done half of one leg. As you can see, it's just basic back stitch. I'm not that great at sewing and I always end up messing up and missing a stitch, so I did have to go back on myself a few times, but I got there in the end. If only I could actually sew this fast, it would be amazing. I'd get it done so quick. I'd probably say it took me about half an hour to sew this, but I was watching Netflix at the same time. Um, as you can see there, he's got a leg, a whole leg. There's the whole thing sewn, you can see the ombre effect. And I just cut all around it so it leaves a nice little white border around the edge. And you can see the stitching around the edge, and I think it looks quite effective. Um, I really do love the effect of this, and I think it's one of my favourite layouts I've done in a long time. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll make another one quite so soon, because I think my hand is still hurting from all the sewing. But definitely one I think you should give a go. Um, a give a go at, because it's definitely effective and it really looks cool. Um, what I've done here is just raised it up with some foam pads so it just comes off the page a little bit so it's not so flat. I then have used a picture of my unicorn crew. So whenever we go anywhere we always wear our unicorn headbands and we become like the unicorn girls now. So I took that on my Instax, um, put that in, wrote unicorns on there, stuck a few shiny gems on the page. The page is relatively simple because I don't want it to take away from the unicorn that I made and I think because that spread of two pages has the unicorn on the other page anyway I think it looks pretty cool. So I added some more string in to put onto the two tags that I've got in there just to kind of finish them off. I did have a look through my snarky Tim Holtz stickers as well so you'll see me add one of them in a minute. After I've done a little bit of tidying up there. I was going to add some of these enamel dot sort of gel but I didn't feel like I could really add anything more to it with that. So I add unicorns on there. Um, I do then go on to add some sequins. I've now got a newfound love for sequins so I add them on. Um, I'm just faffing around doing the title there. So this is coming to the end now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really would love to see if you create anything similar because this is probably one of the most fun layouts I've made in quite a while. Um, and yeah, make sure you use the hashtag UK Scrap Addicts and tag us in anything you make. I'd love to see everything. Thank you for watching. Bye.